Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday afternoon. So, uh, next couple of weeks, actually next through next month, okay, uh, we're going to be playing with uh, kind of like the pour-over coffee every afternoon if, our, if my internet is permits. So hopefully we're going to have some good internet uh, throughout next couple of months, okay, because it's hit and miss, I have to say, hit and miss. Uh, because it, it is a little embarrassing, by the way. So I own a small computer shop in Tucson. So this is my computer shop, okay? I turn one room into like coffee desk. It's not even coffee studio, more like coffee desk here. And unfortunately, my internet here is really bad here. So and it hopefully, especially afternoon, the mornings are fine. But every afternoon, obviously, you know, we, so I was surrounded by all the office buildings and Afternoon, the bandwidth, the usage is just will go up tremendously. So, uh, so far, so good here. Uh, I'm looking at the monitor here. Yeah, so far, so good. So, let's make some coffee. So, I have, so this is the Fellow Oat version 2. Some of you already saw on, you know, YouTube channels, and I bet you guys seen already seen it. But for this channel, I'm going to be focused on the workflow. Okay, I'm going to be focused on the workflow. Is our user friendly? The most love, mostly is a tasty, all right? Is a coffee tasty, you know, coffee from it. So I'm using my uh, Stag X. Uh, pretty much I'm gonna go all fellow product here. I'm using the fellow Stag X, uh, fellow Oat, and also fellow the, the EKG. The Stag EKG, uh, that's the studio version of it, okay? And what else I'm going to be using? Oh, you know what? I've been really enjoying the Mellow Drip as well. Let's use the Mellow Drip. And what else? Uh, and then I'm going to be using the, the cup from Krupp as well. Kind of a narrow mouth. It's going to kind of like enhance the, the brightness of the coffee. So I, I really like this design. Okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, uh, coffee. Okay, let's talk about coffee. I'm going to be using the coffee from Say Coffee. Uh, this is coffee called, uh, let's see here. It's called Morona Family, okay. Morona Family Coffee Roast. Uh, it's the, uh, from Hondura. So this is a wash process. Hondura there. Uh, tasting note is a, a light sea, black raspberry, and orange blossom and honey, okay. So it should be really good. I cannot wait to try. I, I, I did try uh, last week. It was maybe too soon to try. So it's, a, uh, it's about four, it's been about four days now since then. Hopefully we're gonna get a better coffee this time, okay? Hopefully it's been rest enough. And by the way, people are asking me about the, when, why you are wearing black gloves all the time. I don't wanna show you my fingertips close up, but it's pretty bad, okay? Uh, I got a really severe dry skin, so uh, that's the reason why I like to wear my gloves. Yeah. Not because this is, looks cool. No, that's not it. J uh, just because the trying to protect my dry hand, uh, dry fingers there. Hold on. I think we are almost ready. Comes to water temp, I set at 95. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change it back to uh, uh, boiling temperature, okay. I'm gonna go boiling, boil temperature. So we are in Tucson, it's about 3,000 foot up. So boiling temperature is about 97 Celsius, okay. Uh, what else? Uh, you know what? Let's put some coffee. Uh, comes to grinder setting here. I said, uh, more like a five. You know, let me show you guys, okay. Let me show you guys close up. Hold on, let me flip the camera back. Okay, water is ready. So it comes to brew wires, uh, between like four and six they recommend. So I set it like 5.1 third there. Okay, five and six is about one other click. And then let's do another 15 gram here. Let's do 15 gram brew. 
By the way, we are doing the simulcast with the Discord again this morning. Actually, this afternoon, goodness. I'm, I'm kind of like lost track of time. That's the 15 gram. There we go. So I got 15.1 gram in. You know what? Let's try this. Okay, hold on. I'm very curious. Uh, let's figure out the retention. Okay, I'm not doing RDT, okay? I'm not doing the RDT either. There we go. <clears throat> Pretty much it. Pretty fast. I got 15 gram in and hold on, let me show you guys. 15 gram in, about 14.8 gram out. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, hold on. Yep, so about 0.2 gram hiding somewhere, but that's not, that's not that bad. Uh, there's no whole lot of static either. There's no static. Yep, looks pretty good to me. Okay, I have to say. All right. There we go. I'm just going to wet the paper here. If you are just joining us for the first time, yeah, welcome, guys. Welcome to live streaming. Okay, here we go. All right, here I go, guys. <clears throat> so we're going to do just like, you know, typical V60 recipe here, pour over. I'm going to start with 40 grams of water to agitate from high up. Okay. Just going to agitate a little bit. I'm going to wait about 40 seconds. Okay, and uh, uh, about, let's go 35 seconds. Blooming phase right now, and after I'm going to be using my mellow drip to go up to about 125. Right. I'm just going to go one gentle here. And then I like to use my stick. Just gentle. Okay, just lightly stir it. And then I'm going to do one more pull. Up to 160. At this point, I'm going to finish up to 225. Well, let's go 220, okay. I'm only doing about about 14 gram anyway. Yeah. 215. 
And the brew time should be around two minutes and like 10 seconds or so. I'm trying to shoot for under uh, two and a half minutes. Okay, give you guys a close up here to 20. You know, two minutes and 30 seconds. All right. Looks pretty good. Uh, I like the time of it. Pretty much it. So I put what? 14.8 gram in. Get okay, 14.8. So this one here, you know, I'm very curious. I'm trying to, let's just say extraction. Hold on. <clears throat> the reason why I want to uh, measure it precisely, and then once coffee is cooled down, I love to measure my TDS uh, using the refractometer. Okay. So what kind of TDS lever I'm going to get out of it. So. Okay, so I got 170.5 gram. Okay, I got. I'm gonna write down here 179.5 gram as the yield. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna toss. All right. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. All right. Man, look like my video quality is uh, starting to getting messed up again here, but hopefully we can finish the live streaming. All right. So this is a coffee from Say, and uh, this coffee cup from uh, uh, Hondura Coffee. Uh, great tasting notes, light sea, blackberry, orange blossom, and honey. All right. Cheers, guys. Man, I can smell the light sea right now. Goodness. Here you go, cheers. So uh, we are using the <coughs> uh, Fella O, the version 2. Okay, the Fella O version 2. Uh, I, I hear great things about that uh, grinder. Okay, the, especially the bird design. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. By the way, so this is a brand new grinder. I have not seasoned the birds yet. Okay, so this is my actually first real brew. And I go through about like 20 grand before uh, to kind of like cleanse it out. But yeah, so this is it. Cheers. Okay. All right. So this is a wash process. Coffee is good. Is that is a spectacular answer is no. Okay. Answer is no. So this is the their wash. Uh, so far I try uh, the Lance Sammy. Shout out to Lance and Tobin from Say Coffee. Uh, uh, they sent me the four sample pack. Okay. And then so this one is a wash. Another one from Ethiopia, naturally processed. That's fantastic. So this one, not as much, all right. Not as good as the, the Ethiopia, the natural. But they're good, okay. But it's not great, all right. It's definitely good coffee. So, so uh, pretty much, I signed up their monthly subscription. I think that's the best money for the uh, comes to if you are looking for like specialty coffee, uh, something new every single month. There are twenty dollars per month. Okay, twenty dollars per month. They're gonna send you two hundred fifty grams of coffee every month. I think that's. I, I, I mean, if you guys are like say coffee, I think you should go with uh, two coffee subscription. I think two coffee is about thirty eight dollars for that. So twenty is uh, one, one a uh, one a month and. And the two, uh, 38 bucks is like two a month, okay? But, so guess what I got? So, 
So their monthly subscription, they send me the Morona family, okay? So far, that's the, so, so this is copy right here, so. I got 250 grams of it. It's good, but it's not like, you know, mind blowing. So, so, but this is kind of like the best way to like try new coffee and kind of some kind of subscription. By the way, uh, let me know in the comment section, okay? Uh, how many of you uh, sign up for some kind of subscription uh, service every month? Yeah, love to hear from you. Love to hear from you as well. Oh, by the way, so this is the time for Advent calendar season. All right, so Advent calendar season. So I got this one sample from the 19 gram. All right, so here's the 19 gram Advent calendar. Oh man, this is, I mean, if you guys want to try new coffee every single day, man, uh, Advent calendar, okay? Doesn't matter which roaster, definitely check it out. All right, so this, uh, this one happened to be the 19 gram uh, coffee roaster in Germany. I think uh, price is really good too. They are selling for like 80 bucks, 80 or 90 bucks. I mean, after shipping, you're looking at, I don't know how much, but like oh, just over 100 for shipping total. And uh, I think I do have a coupon code, folks. Okay, I do have a coupon code for that as well. And if you want, I can put the link on my description section. I'm done with this uh, live streaming. So if you guys are interested, yeah, I'd be happy to put it on for you guys. And also I'm gonna shout out to the friends at live chat. Let's see who's on. We got the Lion Pride, Salam. We got Richard from France is on. We have an after hour coffee as well. We got Linda's on. Sophia's Truth. Man, what a name. You got B.O. Uh, B.O. asks, are you using espresso light grind for triclet? Uh, you want to go fine, okay? You want to go fine because triclet is a no bypass, so most likely 1 to 20 ratio. And I use about 10 gram. I, I like to use a smaller dose. 10 gram to 200 grams of water added in. So, you know, you want to go finer. And the extraction time, I'm trying to push for like six minutes. Okay, so longer contact time with the water, so get more, more out. All right, what else? Oh, by the way, so again, so this is the fellow. Man, they really are upgraded from previous version. Okay, so this O, I don't have to do anything. Okay, I don't have to do RDT either. Not a whole lot of static there. Man, I'm pretty impressed. And that comes with this, the non-static technology. Very similar to, well, hair dryer, I heard. Okay, some kind of hair dryer. The, the you know, the anti-static technology. Okay. Okay, B.O. asks, how fine on 64 cast? You know what, every grinders are different. So I don't know what kind of you know, grind size. So just try, okay? Just just try, uh, just pick the number, all right? And just brew the coffee and look at the time. Okay, how long it's gonna take to brew that coffee. If you're gonna do 15 grams, so 15 to about 15 gram in and 300 grams of water, something like that, so. Uh, I mentioned about the 60, P64. Yeah, uh, just play the number. You wanna shoot for around three minutes, uh, about six minute brew time. Okay, just ask, well, just say, what was the 3D printing on StockX? Yes. <clears throat> Hold on, let me show you what that is. Okay. So this is one, uh, one of our friends, the Mike. Uh, he ho hooked me up with this. So this is the negotiator. So this is the regular ferro stack. Put on the top so you can actually swerve it easily. So, so that's what that for that. Okay. I think you can get it from Etsy as well. You can buy it from Etsy store. Yeah. So this cup has been cooled down a little bit. So let's try. Okay, let's try this cup. Okay, bring out more lightsy now. Okay. More like lightsy and blackberry. Mm -hmm. It's clean. Very clean cup. Okay. Very clean cup there, so. 
All right, folks, I think we are good for today. And then uh, uh, we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be back. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done for today. Okay, let's do something tomorrow. Uh, we got a lot to talk about as well. And then I'm going to have some special guest, uh, middle of the week, Wednesday. All right, we're going to have some special guest on Wednesday on the live chat. And uh, it should be fun. Okay, I'm going to have some coffee roaster. Uh, uh, talk with uh, one of, I mean, maybe one or two this week, okay? I'm scheduled for two, coffee roaster. So, and there'll be interesting conversation coming up. And also this morning, if you guys have missed it, I had a conversation with Johnny from Icosa, okay? They make a coffee glass, okay? Kind of like sensory glass. Johnny was really fun talking to him as well. And then I, uh, we talked with Jay from uh, the California coffee grower, okay, French, French. Uh, they do geisha, the California geisha. Wonder, uh, what a wonderful, uh, God, what, what a wonderful person, okay. Trying to support the local farmers by, you know, create that, this wonderful, you know, kind of coffee farm, uh, I don't want to say system, but yeah, that's fantastic to talk with the Jay. So, and hopefully uh, I get to try their California geisha, it'd be very interesting. I know some of you are very uh, skeptic on coffee from U.S., okay, but, yeah. Okay, so B.O. say, just try on Onyx Geisha on Tricklet. Very nice. Good. Yeah, Onyx Geisha. I mean, you know, I have to say, Onyx does a really good job. Yeah, Onyx does the fantastic job. So, so many different coffees out there, folks. All right, so many different coffee and a lot to try. All right, so maybe tomorrow morning, uh, let's pick up some coffee from uh, 19 gram uh, advent calendar. Uh, let's brew some coffee as well. I think we are good to go. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to show up your coffee bar setup, I'd love to have you on the live chat as well. I know, look, uh, let's see, uh, uh, the Linda, Show us our coffee bar last week. And also we got the Mr. Rainbow Loves coffee too. So yeah, don't be shy about it. Uh, if you guys are interested, uh, send me an email, okay? Not, do not message me. I mean, I don't check, but you can email me. Yeah, I do usually check those. I think you can, uh, uh, you can have, uh, I have an email information on, I think it's on my about section on my channel page on this, not the Discord, but my YouTube channel, YouTube page. All right. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon and see you guys tomorrow.